All right, this video is the bottom part of page 94. We are dividing mixed numbers. So these these bubble problems here, they're just setting up a structure for you. Uh, I do want you to fill in the bubbles. They, in, in a way, the bubbles are really good for you. It helps you um, pay attention to where things are supposed to go. Like, for example, on the first question right here, when we divide by 3 fourths, they still have 3 fourths as the second fraction. Nothing changes there, not not till later. All right, anyway, um, number one, we need to do 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1, that's 17. So the missing bubble here is 17 fourths, because 4 and a fourth is equal to 17 fourths. Then notice that it goes from uh, division to multiplication, which means we're going to multiply the reciprocal. So instead of writing 3 fourths here, we're going to change it to 4 thirds, that's the reciprocal. And this remains 17 fourths. And before I multiply here, I would simplify these fours. Four and four are each divisible by four, so those become ones. And now I have 17 times one is 17, over one times three is three. And we have a space for our answer right here. 17 divided by three is uh, six, because six times, that's not right. It's five, because five times three is 15, so there's two left. So it's going to be 5 and 2 thirds. I'm going to put that right here. 5 and 2 thirds. All right, let's check out the second one. Notice they gave a, us a bubble for both numerators because both of these are mixed numbers, and I have to convert them to improper fractions. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So the first one is 3 halves. The second one is 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. The second one is 9 fourths. And then I'm going from division to multiplication, so that means I'm multiplying the reciprocal so this inverts to 4 over 9 and this remains 3 over 2 and now I'm going to simplify both diagonals 2 and 4 are divisible by 2 and 3 and 9 are divisible by 3 and I end up with 1 times 2 is 2 and 1 times 3 is 3 and that doesn't even need to be fixed 2 thirds is a regular old fraction alright good job let's move down the page I'm going to use a whiteboard for 3 through 6. And now that we've done this a few times, I'm going to go relatively quickly. I'll still state what I'm doing, but I'm going to go relatively quickly. Number 3 is 4 divided by 1 and an eighth. And neither of those are in the right form right now. I need numerators and denominators. So I'm going to change 4 into 4 over 1. And I'm going to change 1 and an eighth into 1 times 8 is 8 plus 1 is 9. I'm going to change that into 9 eighths. And now I'm going to multiply the reciprocal. 4 and 9 doesn't simplify, neither does 8 and 1, so I've got 4 times 8 is 32. Over 1 times 9 is 9. That's an improper fraction. I need to change it back to a mixed number. 32 divided by 9 is 3, because 3 times 9 is 27. So there's 5 left. So it's 3 and 5 ninths. Number four, I've got three and a fifth divided by one and a seventh. Three and a fifth is 15, 16 over five divided by one times seven is seven plus one is eight sevenths. I'm going to then multiply the reciprocal. I'm going to invert seven and eight. Now I've got some simplifying to do. 16 divided by 8 is 2, and 8 divided by 8 is 1. So now I've got 2 times 7 is 14. 5 times 1 is 5. 14 divided by 5 is 2, with 4 left over. 2 and 4 fifths. If for some reason this instruction is going too fast for you, you can hit pause. You can always ask um, me for help as well. Number five, eight and a third divided by two and a half. Eight and a third is 24 plus one, 25 thirds. Divided by two times two is four plus one is five halves. Now multiply the reciprocal. I could do two times 25 and three times five, but I'd rather simplify. 5 and 25 share a factor of 5. 5 goes into itself once. 5 goes into 25 5 times. Now I've got 5 times 2 is 10. Over 1 times 3 is 3. 
10 divided by 3 is 3 whole. 3 times 3 is 9, so that's 1 remaining over 3. 3 and 1 third. And number 6. 15 and 1 third divided by 3 and 5 6. 15 and a third is the same as 15 times 3 is 45, 46 thirds. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 5 is 23. 23 6. Are you getting fast at this? Can you see what's going to simplify? I can. Watch. Multiply the reciprocal. 46 and 23 share a factor of 23. 23 goes into 23 once. 23 goes into 46 twice. 3 and 6 share a factor of 3. 3 goes into itself once, and 3 goes into 6 twice. And all that complicated math just turned into 2 times 2 is 4. Over 1 times 1 is 1. 4 over 1 is the same as 4. All right, I'll see if I can leave those answers there and erase my whiteboard. And let's check out the word problems. I might need to make room, we'll see. I, might, I could probably do it right here. Let's do this. Let's make my whiteboard smaller. Number seven, another area problem. A sandbox has an area of 26 square feet and a length of five and a half foot is the width. Remember that area can be found by doing length times width if you know the length and the width. And if you don't know the length and the width, but you're given the area that you actually divide. So my area is 26. I'm going to divide that by my length of five and a half. 26 is the same as 26 over one. And five and a half is the same as five times two is 10 plus one is 11, 11 halves. Then I multiply the reciprocal. And I have nothing that simplifies. 2 and 1 don't share a factor other than 1. 11 and 26 don't either. So I've got 26 times 2. That's 52. Over 1 times 11, that's 11. And 52 divided by 11 is 4. 4 times 11 is 44. The difference between 52 and 44 is 8. So I've got 4 and 8. 11th. And we need to record our answer with a unit. We're talking about feet. 4 and 8 11 feet. Okay, at this point I need to move my stuff up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and clear my board. I can see everything I need to see now. I won't use the whiteboard on this last one, I'll just use the white space. Alright, number eight. Mr. Webster is buying carpet for an exercise room in his basement. The room will have an area of, so we know the area, 230 square feet. The width of the room is 12 and a half. What's the length? So I'm going to do 230 divided by 12 and a half. I'm going to change 230 into 230 over 1. I'm going to change 12 and a half into 12 times 2 is 24 plus 1 is 25. So that's going to be 25 halves. And I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of 2 over 25. So, this one might look a little confusing, but I don't think it's going to be as hard as you think. 25 and 230 don't share a factor. They almost do, but they don't. Uh, I'm sorry, they do share a factor. They share a factor of 5. Um, I Something tells me this will be easier if we don't simplify right now. Um, so I'm not going to. Something tells me that this is going to be easier division if we don't simplify. Either way, there's proof that you can simplify or you don't have to, as long as you're willing to simplify later. So I'm going to do 230 times 2. That's... Real simple, you just take 230 and you double it, so that's 460 over 1 times 25 is 25. And now we have a big, but I think easy, division problem. <clears throat> you could do this mentally, <coughs> because 25 is easy to count by. Um, you could just think about money. 25 goes into 100 four times, so therefore 25 goes into 400 
4 times 4 is 16 times. And then to get up to 60, that's 2 more. So it's 18 times. And so I'm just going to check that real quick and make sure I thought that through correctly. 25 times 18 should be about 450, or should be exactly 450. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 4 is 20. And x is 0. 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 2 is 2. If I add those up, I'll get 450, which is what I estimated. So what that means is, is that 25 goes into 460 18 times. So I'm going to put an 18 here as my whole number. And then there's 10 left. Uh, in fact, I'm going to write it right here because I'm going to simplify it. It's going to be 18 and 10 left over the denominator was 25. And then 10 to 25 share a factor of 5, so we're going to simplify by 5. And 10 divided by 5 is 2, that's my final answer. And 25 divided by 5 is 5, the answer is 18 and 2 fifths, and we're talking about feet. 18 and 2 fifths feet. Kind of complicated, I recognize that, but you're getting better at this, so you can try these hard problems. All right, question uh, nine says, how does dividing mixed numbers compare with dividing fractions? Well, there's an extra step. Uh, the, I'm going I'm to start by saying this. The first step is to convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions. Then multiply The reciprocal, I'm sorry, yep, yeah, multiply the reciprocal. I'm going to say it more clearly. Then multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Might be a longer answer than you're willing to write, and I'm sorry about that, but it is a very clear and uh, accurate answer. So I'm going to repeat. How does dividing mixed numbers compare with dividing fractions? The first step is to convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions. Then multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Okay, we are done with page 94. Great job.